Hey guys, this is Karan. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying ninth grade in Yambu International School. Today in this section, we'll be discussing on Latin heat, as you guys can see up here or up here. In last section, what we talk about is the substance. You have a substance, you add heat to it, and substance with the relationship with its mass and the specific heat, um, it, the result will become, it will increase in the temperature. And that's exactly what we calculated last time. That works when you are talking about heating a lead, um, let's say uh, water up or whatever the object is, suppose uh, blankets, uh, boxes, grasses or um, wood, you're heating that uh, up or burning, adding heat to it, okay? Everything has a different specific heat. Likewise, their response will not be the same. So everything will have its own own way to respond in their heat and that results in increasing the temperature. What in this section we'll talk about is specifically uh, owing on what we call phase change, okay? Now, you guys can see the phase change over here, but let me just explain you very detailed and the camera will zoom over here after I'm done talking to you so you guys can get a clear view of what I will be talking over here and what I'm talking over here so we need to have a block of ice okay put it in a pot or a bucket and you add heat to it we all know it's gonna melt because you're adding heat to the ice and when you take water boil it and when you raise the temperature we all know it will turn into steam and eventually what happens is the phase change is going to happen in um, make, uh, make it into the vapor and escape okay that's phase change okay so what we what we'll do in this section is calculate the exact amount of uh, exact amount of number required for a phase change to happen so we all know like 100 degrees Celsius is a boiling point that's the exact number 99 degree Celsius isn't the exact number but let's say yeah, if someone to, uh, were to ask you when, where is the boiling pan and you say uh, near about 110, about 120 but here we'll calculate the exact number okay so like 100 degrees Celsius is exact number we'll calculate the exact number by the easiest way we can illustrate okay so the easiest way that I found out to illustrate the phase chain is by graph actually and remember the example that I took Heating the uh, heating the ice, adding heat to the ice. Okay, so what we'll draw, um, we'll draw a little pot over here and discuss on it quickly. Okay. So we took an example that an ice is in a pot and we want to vaporize it. Okay, so uh, to understand the concept of Latin heat. So here I've drawn a graph, which I told you is the best way and the easiest way to demonstrate uh, the phase change or illustrate the phase change. So, let's say 0 degrees Celsius over here and 100 degrees Celsius is over here, as you guys can see. Here we have heat, which is represented as, as Q. Here we have a temperature, okay? So, the ice is here and it goes to 0 degrees Celsius. Remember, you're always adding heat to it, okay? So, after some time, it goes over here and goes up to 100 degrees Celsius, goes over here straight and up, okay? Let me just tell you why does it do that. Okay? Now, this energy over here is going into the phase chain and it's going to keep it until the ice is completely melted. So, here we start off with ice, okay? Let's start off with the beginning concept, okay? So, here we start off with ice. And ice is melting down, melting down to its freezing point, okay? Ice point, as we said, and it, it takes some energy to gain the gain the water value over here so here is the ice what we have <laughs> okay so till this part over here let me just use the, another color so till this part over here as you guys can see clearly so this part over here is actually the ice okay this part is basically where it's trying to heat the ice okay so at some temperature the ice melts right we all agree to that well that temperature the 
it takes time to gain that much energy, okay? Because it's all energetic. So at at last when it reaches over here, okay? At the last point when it reaches over here, it takes some energy to bo boil that ice. And when it does that, all we know it's heating the substance. Okay? So and this energy this energy is already I told you uh, that is changing change of ice to water which is in liquid form okay now uh, here what it's doing is you have all water here now here you have water okay now when it turns the water see it's changing the ice to liquid water here and to some degree point it's already turning the water but at some degree it needs to turn the water into vaporization into steam okay so at this point it gains some energy so it gains some energy okay and here it starts to uh, vaporize it or we can say the this part over here is basically the gas okay now let me just recap because this is very important concept before we move on to our next examples okay now this basically let me start off with the drawing the chart because I already have drawn the chart here now here we made a chart and basically the example that we took is basically the ice in a pot remember so there's the ice in a pot and we are basically representing the ice in a pot by a uh, temperature graph so I took a graph over here represented this as a heat which represents the Q represent this as a temperature because we have 100 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius over here now th till this point ice is starting from this point and it's coming over here to 0 degree Celsius and it's ice we know that substance is ice okay and what happens over here it's um, that's the ice is gaining some heat okay so it's gaining some heat over here and here till this part it's changing ice to the water okay liquid water and here we have water because it's already changed into water also here plus additional thing that adds on to this is the same thing over here it gains heat because to do to, in order to gain heat okay in order to become gas it has to gain heat over here after it has completely become a water it has to gain heat to become a vaporization or become a gas over here okay so basically when you think about it you have to make it happen okay energy is to make those bonds change from from a solid state over here to a la uh, la lattice state over here to liquid state over here so it's basically saying uh, a solid to lattice to liquid over here and it moves on so it takes energy to do that right like I told you it takes energy to uh, move from one place to another place okay you just can't lift an object without putting any force to it same with this uh, form over here that you just can't uh, melt an ice without using any kinetic energy to melt it okay like we talked about it now now the uh, last thing that re um, for reading the graph is that if you have a gas and you add more and more and more heat to it so all you're doing is adding um, uh, energy to it more energy to it okay to eventually it's, it's gonna break apart the atoms in it okay what happens is the atoms break apart and it breaks apart the plasma as well and sometimes the the plasma uh, this type of energy over here is called the fourth state of matter the fourth the fourth state of matter and this is the plasma in lightning which basically breaks down the air and basically that's the reason why you can see okay now the now the atomic effects are breaking down the air okay the atomic effects over here are breaking down the air plasma and this is just general over here it's not related to this plasma is something if you don't know what plasma is plasma is something you add, uh, you add to an energy that actually 
can rip apart and that's another topic that we'll talk about so all I'm trying to say is that when you add an uh, energy to a substance or when you add heat to a substance and the temperature is going to rise like we told you like I told you before in the first very first section of advanced physics which basically tells that when when you have a temperature which is high it's going the atoms are basically going to move faster if it's gas it's going to shoot faster if it's solid it's going to vibrate faster but uh, here we'll tell that if you are adding heat to a substance basically what you're doing is adding a temperature to it okay so temperature will go high and these things will happen like I told you in the first section and phase change this is a phase change diagram which I did because it's showing you what's happening at the plateau and then phase change and then increasing then decreasing it's not decreasing but it has a constant line okay now we all know how to deal with this phase, uh, phase change already and the slanted lines because we talked about slanted lines um, in our last sections and what I want to you guys to know is the first thing to get introduced to the latent heat and phase change and we'll solve some examples to it.